It's great to be here today at the Dairy Creek Golf Facility, home of Cal Poly Golf, and a building that the corporation um, invested in and built over the last year. I'm here with Jennifer and Alan. Jennifer is the Associate Executive Director for Human Resources at the corporation, and Alan's a student board member at the corporation. This is a start of a series of conversations that the corporation is gonna have with a few team members, taking time to look back as well as looking forward. So Alan, I'll let you kick it off. Let's talk a little bit about some of the challenges for, uh, for this year. Yeah, Cody, I think ultimately a lot of students wanna feel like they are a part of the Cal Poly um, community. Uh, and when we are separated, it's really hard to continue those ties. Uh, around campus. And just quickly, one of the things that you know I'm interested in hearing from you specifically is just as a corporation board member, ASI vice chair, maybe what is one thing that you would like to see happen in 2021 um, for Cal Poly? Yeah, I think as we repopulate campus, I think I would really want to make sure that we are consulting with students uh, about what they want to see when they come back and what they feel comfortable with. We want to make sure that we are um, providing as many resources as we can, and I think that that starts with uh, looking and hearing from students. You know, Jen, what can we expect to see from faculty and staff over the next few months and then the rest of this year? Lots of big things are happening for sure. Right now, we're really working on the repopulation plan. Our goal is to really have each manager and supervisor sit down with each employee, talk about their job, what they need to do it from home, what they need to do it in the office, and really see what's the best, most flexible fit. So we really want to be there and offer every option that we can. So either a hybrid model or full in-business office model. What are some of the things some employees can expect or team members can expect for the rest of 2021 as far as how we're engaging them? We are really focusing one part on people. One of our major goals is to bring back the fun, to bring back the community and getting people really involved and wanting to be back on campus. I think some of the top priorities for us are going to focus around, Jen, you mentioned people. Um, that's always going to be a priority for us. It's even more important right now, given where we came over the last year and the impact to our team. And I think beyond that, um, kind of our purpose. We struggle on communicating just what the corporation does, how big it is. I think it's going to be an important part to really with board members, with team members, go out and help the campus understand truly what we do as an organization. And I think the third is, you know, looking at the programs that we run, whether they're commercial services or real estate or business services on campus, I think it's going to be important for us to focus really clearly on those three. You know, that's going to be a critical need, just paying attention and adapting to students. So not just in commercial services, but I think across the board, it's just a different Cal Poly because of what we've seen over the last year. And I think we're going to expect more change and more new things coming in the fall of 21. I'd like to thank Alan and Jennifer for the conversation today and we're all looking forward to a great fall quarter.